Hello, welcome to Live Long in Color. Today I am doing a supply haul video of everything that I have bought from the mid of September to the middle of October. I'm going to start with the uh, coloring books first, but before I do, I want to thank everyone for stopping by and viewing my channel. You are all greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. And um, let's get started. This is Happy Halloween black background by color Questopia. I'm trying to get all the words there we go and hopefully this is straight if not I apologize um, I have such a hard time getting these straight um, like I've said before I look through the viewfinder of this camera and it looks fine but when I see the video they're always crooked so I did a flip through of this already um, so I'm not going to do a full flip through but, um, yeah, I bought the black background because of, uh, it had a Halloween theme and I just felt like it would be easier this uh, month to just do the coloring without having to worry about the lines. Next is Color Quest Animals by Color Questopia. This is also the black background version. Um, this one... I bought the black background because one they had pictures like this that uh, just uh, I just uh, it's too much I think to sit here and do all these lines plus this is the one that was on sale it was 349 or 359 something like that and I thought it was a really good deal so I went ahead and bought it um, yeah there's a lot of uh, very detailed like this so now this I want to know does anybody have any idea what this animal is I think it's a bird of some sort it has a beak but then this reminds me of a snake or something I don't know if anybody knows what this is please comment below and let me know thank you <laughs> But yeah, like here's another one that would be very hard to do, you know, time consuming if you had to fill in the background. So you might want to check to see if this is still on sale. Um, but yeah, I bought that one. Then I'm back to my Secret Village series. As you all know, I collect these books. This is Secret Village Autumn. Uh, this poor book did not come in very well. It got punctured somehow. I don't know how. But luckily, I usually use the um, digital version, so it doesn't matter that the pages on here in the corner are all crinkled. And even at the beginning, you can see their tour. But I blame postage more than I blame Amazon, so we'll see. I don't know who's at fault here, but these books are really cute. I really enjoy them. Um, the only one in the Secret Village series that I haven't liked has been the Main Street and I think it's because it's, it's gotten away from the village feel and the flowers and it's more cityscape so I like this better then I have Secret Village Halloween coloring book by Ava Brown I just think these are so cute they really fit the Halloween theme so Looking forward to coloring in these this next month. Okay, so that's it for all the coloring books. Um, next, I'm going to show you these oil pastels that I bought. They're from uh, Pentrista. I bought these on sale on Amazon on a, on a lightning deal. Um, there's 24 oil pastels and they give you an extra one this red one here is extra um, I did a picture let me show you what I did I did this picture with them I think they worked pretty good the coloring the color is not too um, light once you uh, wipe it off they do not blend very well this did not blend the way I wanted it to and I went over it a few times hoping 
that I could get rid of that ring that I had created, but I just kept wiping off, so no. But other than that, um, they work. I don't blend much with them anyway, so they're perfectly fine for me. I will go over this in pencil later and finish it, but I just thought you'd like to see um, what the what a picture would look like if they are colored with it. Um, they do not have the color name on them anywhere, but what I did like was they came wrapped in plastic, so these were not uh, floating around and rubbing against each other like the Crayola and the Afira was when I got them. It also came with this. This is a uh, sharpener for the for the uh, oil pastels, and this is an extender. You just put it in like that, and you close it up like that. And you can color with it so when it gets down low you can use the extender which I thought was pretty nice so that that's the oil pastels I bought next I bought these these are the Mungio Aquarelle, Aquarelle I don't know how to say that sorry the pearl set 24 colors um, they came wrapped so they were not moving around in the packages or anything like that they were packed pretty well but as you can see they're pretty dirty and I did a swatching chart and I don't know if you can see this side I did as if it was a normal oil pastel like I would use coloring and this side I activated with the water and I don't think you can see it on camera, but it does give a little pearly shine to it. But what I didn't like about them was they're very dirty. And when you pick them up, you get it all over your hands very easily. And they do have the color name written on them. This is Philo Blue, but... Oh, there we go. Sorry. See, but it's too dark. You can't see it. But they do have the color name written on them. So that are, is the Oil Pastel Extra Soft Water Soluble from Mungio. Next, I have the eyeshadows that I bought. I bought uh, four different sets. This one I bought for the darker colors so I could do like the night skies. I'm not sure how these glitter ones, I don't know if you can see how glittery they are. I'm not sure how they're going to work on backgrounds yet. I haven't used them, but I will let y'all know. Um, this is the meadow set. I got it for mainly the browns and the dark greens. Then I have this pastel set. And lastly, this neon set. So I really enjoy using these on uh, the backgrounds. I usually just use a cotton round and spread them around and then I'll use a q-tip if I need to get into tight places. But for the most part, I really enjoy using these um, on all my backgrounds. Um, I kind of do a mixture of these with the crayons, with the uh, chalk pastels. Um, next are my markers and coloring utensils, I guess you'd call them. I bought these permanent markers from HEB here in Texas. Um, they're not the best markers. There's 12 for like $6.00. If you're going to use them for anything that you want to keep long term, I would not use these. I think, you know, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm 90% sure they're going to uh, stain everything yellow that you color with it. Um, I'm using them on my lines, spots, and dots coloring book, the Halloween one. I think they're good for that. I don't really care if the page is yellow. They're not supposed to be uh, works of art when I finish. I just do them for the relaxation and the coloring, so I think these work pretty good for that. Next, I have these twistable crayons, the Big 50. Um, I bought a smaller set and liked them, so I decided to go with the bigger ones, the bigger set. Um, I'm thinking of using these for the uh, Cute Cats 
coloring book for, by uh, from such and such diva I'm thinking of doing them all in crayon and I'm thinking of using this set for that next is these crayons these Crayola color of kindness it's a pastel set this was a impulse buy I was at Walmart and I saw them and I grabbed them I love pastel colors so I thought it was a nice little set with pastel colors and I couldn't resist so it says introducing four colors so I'm assuming you know what to say about assuming but I'm assuming that most of these are available um, already but they may have um, renamed them because I don't remember anything that sounds like glow with the flow a slice of nice life is Gouda you're so appealing hello sunshine keep moving forward always brave a warm hug rise above best buddies nurture nature have a scoop of fun so oh there we go have a scoop of fun so that's uh, color of kindness crayons by Crayola and then the last one I got was this permanent markers from shell arts um, I'm pretty sure these are also going to bleed yellow but we shall see and what I've been trying to do is test out using um, some parchment paper in between the pages to see if it prevents them from bleeding I don't mind if they bleed as long you know if I can protect it from hitting the one behind it so we shall see how these work out and then last it would not be a supply haul video without my washi tapes I bought these from Etsy it came with this nice little decal um, they're from and you can read the name Waxian maybe leaving my track on many a star and planet is what it says I bought this pink set there's three different sizes they have this size and I must say there's not very much on each roll but they're only like five dollars less than five dollars for each set so um, I didn't think it was too bad so they have this size and then they have this larger size like I think this one is let me fix that this one is so cute it has the unicorn on it you can see that so yeah that's the first set and then the second set I got was more of a reds like the earth colors so I'm probably only going to be able to do one maybe two pictures with each of these outlining them but I just thought they were very pretty oh these are desserts so yeah so that's my washi tape now that's it for coloring supplies so the next two things I'm going to show are the puzzles that I got for this month the first one is this one wild and whimsical 300 it's by masterpieces incorporated I've never done one of their puzzles before we shall see but I what I did like about them let's see if I can get it open is it comes in a bag which I like and the pieces are really big and it comes with a poster so I did like that this is nice And then the other one that I got was a birthday present from my son. Um, he knows how much I like Star Trek, so he got me this Star Trek 500 piece puzzle. Um, he knew I wanted it. I had been eyeing this for a while, but never got it. So he got this for me, which I really thank him for. Um, yeah, so that's the end of all my supplies that I bought for this month. Thank you so much for stopping by and going on this little mini-ish... Uh, coloring supply haul video journey with me um, I hope you all have a great 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 upcoming week thank you so much again for stopping by live long in color and we'll see you next time bye bye